Hi, this video is on how to test your Seagull outboard coil with a multimeter. It is very, very simple. Um, and this one I have a white pack. It is actually off of a 40 plus. You can see here. White pack Mark II. You can see the Mark II inside there. Um, first of all, I suppose you need to clean your points. I have another video up on how to clean the points. Make sure your points are perfectly clean. Make sure your pickups are clean here as well. And inside here, you should see a little, a little, um, a little tip that's there. A little screwdriver there. Now we can see it better. Hopefully, you can pick that up inside. Now that should be good and shiny and clean. Make sure that's absolutely perfect. What I do is get a flathead screwdriver and just and just rub on the very tip of it. Just to bring it up nice and shiny so you have a good little contact on that. You can see it there, it is nice and clean looking. Just blow it out, make sure there's no dirt inside there. And to test the coil, we just get our multimeter here. Um, and we turn it to the ohm setting. I put it on to 20k. So there's our ohm setting now, we just get our this can sometimes be a bit fiddly. You should be getting on these on these coils something between 3,000 and 5,000 ohms in a reading. So we put one terminal right in the middle of that that tip. So we get that right onto the tip of it. Make sure we can see what we're doing. And you get your other tip then and put it anywhere at all on the base plate. And then getting a reading there of 4.78. So this coil is absolutely perfect. So again, just get the tip. Put your terminal onto the tip there. Try and make sure it's dead centre. If you can't, so you can push fairly hard on it. And anywhere then on the, uh, the base plate. And you're getting a reading there of 4.78. So that's it, how to test with your with your multimeter. Um, I will be doing another video on the Y pack coil and ignition and the drill trick that we put on top just to uh, spin it up. Sometimes to wear uh, on the villiers as well, just to uh, just to put a bit of life back into it. Make sure your points are clean. This one actually has a cover, some of them don't. We take off the cover with this this you have to cover cleaner points I have another video on how to remove the flywheel and the the uh, the white pack ignition as well so that's it um, I have another video on that as I said so like and subscribe and thanks for watching